Hey guys, Game Wars Air 6 here, and back with another video. Um, so, this time around, we're going to do something slightly different. Well, not slightly different. It's still a drawing. However, I'm going to showcase three drawings in this one video. And the reason I'm showcasing three drawings instead of showing the speed paint for each individual one is because when I tried to export uh, the other two, which I'll just let you guys know is uh, Vegeta and uh, Khalifa, when I tried to export them, it didn't work out. And I and I was thinking it had to do with the um, filters that I decided to use on, on the final piece, which somehow messed with the exporting process, which um, I might have been right because when I exported the one you guys are seeing right now, which is an Android 17 redraw, I had no issues exporting it. So uh, with that in mind, uh, here's the video. So I spent about a combined total of four hours uh, studying uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly in the, in the Shintani art style. Um, that doesn't include the time I took to uh, skim through parts of the movie so I can get reference shots of um, uh, a lot of the characters in the sh uh, in the movie. Bardock, uh, Gine, Bulma, I even took some shots of uh, we uh, Whis, Beerus. I don't think I did, did Trunks or Goten, but I might do that. I might go back and do that. Um, yeah, Goku, Vegeta, Gogeta, Broly, Paragus, uh, Other Sand, Vegeta and Raditz as kids, Nappa. Yeah, all, all those people. So, I mean, basically, yeah, I took, I, yeah, I went through and took a bunch of screenshots, uh, labeled all of the screenshots, and then I uploaded them to my own Google Drive because that's, that's where I have all my drawing references. And then I. Um, I studied the shapes, so I traced, I traced over them, uh, if you guys want to see this process, by the way, I can upload it, but, yeah, I traced over some, some of the shots to get the shapes, I traced over, got, the, got the shapes, then I tried copying the shapes, um, then I also tried, um, I didn't focus too much on the shading, well, I, I did, but I didn't spend as much time on it, uh, as I did with the shapes, um, Shapes, including the shapes of the shape of the body and the uh, shape of the wrinkles and the tears. Um, what characters are like when they're when they're like when they're scratched up? Because you guys know it's a popular thing in Dragon Ball. When someone's been when someone's fighting, they're physically fatigued in Dragon Ball. They have a bunch of markings on their on their face, their body, and their clothing to signify that. So that so I try my best to. Uh, yeah, and despite doing that, uh, whenever I actually went into the images, uh, whenever I went into the drawings, I, as you guys can see, I gathered a bunch of references of a bunch of people from from the show to, in order to, um, as accurately as possible, replicate the style in every way possible based off of the character that I'm drawing. Uh, in this case, Android 17, and the character, and then I try to use features from characters within that are showcased in the movie, so I can try my best to duplicate the style. Uh, one thing with the style, um, in comparison to Dragon Ball Super, and more specifically the Tournament of Power, is uh, the lack of shading, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, the most for the most part in the movie, in the movie, the, pl the places that have the most shading are the uh, are the scenes with the mo with the most intensity, uh, which would be Go Goku and Vegeta confronting Bro Broly and Frieza when they land on Earth, and then the actual fights, the actual fight itself. That's where the most shading is, because. And I got this from watching a small part of Master Art Media's video. The idea was to increase the shading during the fight scenes and then intense moments in order to like highlight those moments in order to emphasize those. And then during the casual times, like when Goku and Vegeta are sparring or when Goku and Vegeta are conversing with one another or when Bulma and Beerus and Weezer are talking, just the, just the relaxing points uh, within the movie is where there's less shading where you, um, 
where it's most it's mostly flat uh, in terms yeah in terms of shading it's mostly flat and then there's just some shading like some overcast like for example uh, the cloth uh, clothing covering up covering a part of the body then there will be shading wherever that clothing would create a cast shadow uh, the cast shadow uh, on the neck that's a very popular thing basically everything the uh, shadow from the hair to the face yeah, just basic shading and in terms of the eyes the eyes don't generally have shading and sometimes the eyes have lighting on them and i actually experimented this with a uh, uh i put i put lighting in the eyes um however now that i uh looked at or i looked at it and i realized that with the filters that i used it might be hard to see to see that i i expand i, I experimented with some filters to uh see what I can do with them, uh, try to, yeah, just try to vary things, uh, and I did the same thing with, well, for Android 17, I didn't do any filters, no Gaussian blur, no, uh, n nothing like that, um, simply because I want to be able to export this, but I can still, I guess, export the drawing without the filters, um, yeah, I can export the MP4, and then after I export the MP4, then I can add filters, and then just show that final product. So yeah, if you, um, yeah, you guys, you guys might be able to tell. But yeah, I added Gaussian blur to the entirety of uh, Vegeta and Caulifland. I just put it on a lower opacity. Um, if you guys want to see the Hachikuji redraw that I was mentioning, I couldn't export that. Uh, speed paint either i'm not gonna have it in this video because this video is about the like the dbs broly style redraws so it doesn't fit the theme so if you guys want to see that uh just go to my twitter because i've already tweeted the out just look look through my media and you'll see it um yeah so now i have drawn vegeta twice in the uh, Shintani art style. If you guys remember the 2020 video, you guys will know what I'm talking about. I've drawn Khalifa once, I've drawn Amdor 17 once. I got some shots of uh, Gohan, uh, Kid Gohan, when when he broke out of the space pod and he, he was about to uh, hit Raditz. Like, yeah, the anger that he felt. I was thinking of redrawing that scene um, in terms of other characters, I don't really, I don't really know who else I'd want to draw in in that art style that hasn't one already been drawn by someone else. Because there's a guy, it's a W J D Pablo. Um, he's done a bunch of Shintani style stuff. I believe though. He basically, tr he traces over the image, like the Im an image he's redrawing and then just changes things up. So it changes things up. So it's uh, in that art style. But as you guys can see here, I don't do that. I, I literally just draw, draw everything from scratch in terms of any redraw that I've ever done. And you guys can, again, see that in every single Redraw video I've done. I've done the Naruto. I've done three Naruto redraw videos. I've done the Vegeta redraw from the Universe Six and the Universe Seven. I've done and I've done the three that you're going to see in this video. So yeah, I don't know what's what will be next. If I do another redraw, I'm going to try to make sure it's a different character, obviously. Um, I might do Kale, honestly. Since I did Khalifa, I might do Kale and then I might do Kefla. Um, but we'll see. Uh, if that's what you guys want to see, let me know. If you guys want me to draw, redraw something else in the Shinshani art style, let me know. And um, we'll see. So, I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of this and... Yeah.